Today, we're going to be talking about what's simultaneously one of the best and most forgettable movies of 2010, Unstoppable, and The Suez Canal. Stick around to find out what those two things have to do with each other on that show I do. I'm still trying to figure out the name. In Unstoppable, an unmanned train carrying hundreds of tons of explosive material is accidentally sent speeding down the tracks in rural Pennsylvania. It's up to the Yardmaster Connie, played by Rosario Dawson, an old head named Frank, and a newbie named Will, to stop the train before it inevitably destroys the city of Scranton. Huh? Oh, sorry. Stanton, Pennsylvania. All while having to take orders from their corporate overlords, who are only interested in protecting their image and their profits. Despite having the most simple plot you could probably think of, the movie's pretty great. You could look at it as a celebration of working class wisdom over corporate bureaucratic rule, as Frank's DIY plan ends up saving the day. While the assloads of money that corporate spends on derailing technology all prove to be useless. You could also look at it as an ode to selflessness as the only true way to restore family. And we didn't even get to my favorite theme of the movie. Anyway, back to the Suez Canal. If you don't know, the Suez is the artificial waterway that connects the North Atlantic and Indian Oceans via the Mediterranean and Red Sea, shortening sea travel between the East and the West. Without it, ships would have to travel around the Cape of Good Hope, which would be a pain in the ass, even if you stop Fernando's. Last month, a ship got stuck in just the most embarrassing way possible. It was objectively hilarious. I mean, come on. Hundreds of ships had to sit still for days, all because this little boy wrecked himself. Oh, what's the matter? You needed help going through the canal? Little baby couldn't fit? You too dummy thick. 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 The universe is a comedian, and we are just characters in an elaborate sketch. Shakespeare said that. As funny as it turned out, this easily could have been a global disaster. Back while crews were working hard to get the ship free, nobody really knew how long it was going to last. News outlets were saying that the ship could be stuck there for days or even weeks. How is this so terrible? The Suez Canal is one of the busiest waterways in the world, with over 12% of the world's global trade passing through it each day, including 8% of the world's natural gas. Every second that the ship stayed stuck there delayed vital resources to places like factories, clothing stores, power plants, gas stations, pharmacies, grocery stores, and hospitals. So yeah, it could have been a disaster. Thanks a lot, big guy. And unstoppable, rail yard workers have to come together to stop a train the size of the Chrysler building from blowing Scranton, ah, oh, for Christ's sake, Stanton to smithereens, all because of one idiot's fatal screw up. This brings me to the question that unstoppable begs by considering a speeding freighter as its main villain. It forces us to ask if we're simultaneously too smart and too weak for our own good. Is mankind totally helpless to the superpowered machinery that we've created? Well. I guess we'll find out once we see the findings of that investigation. If you like what you saw, press the subscribe button and leave a like for good measure. Thanks for watching.